Flying the Dish with Dee. That's me. It's time for weigh-in. Dee, you still weigh-in? I sure do. Keeps me accountable. Keeps me on track. So yes, I still weigh-in on Saturdays. I know I could probably... I'm sitting now. I know I could weigh-in any day, but I still keep with Saturday. It's just more routine for me. If I dress up today and put my fancy scarf... It's a little bit chilly here in the Northeast, so I had to get a sweater. And I always put my earrings on and my lips so I don't look, you know, I don't scare anybody. But yes, I actually was down 0.6. It's a little bit chopped. I am. I, I'm a little bit chopped at myself. I truly am. But you also have to realize I'm so afraid if I stray that I will just keep going. Like, you know, they always say, like, flatten the curve. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to create a curve if I go off track. So it's been really working for me. So because, you know, I've been heavy for 42 years. So, yeah, this is all new to me. So, yeah, I waited at 150. I don't remember one, I'll have the screen on 153.2.450. I don't remember. I had my husband weigh me. Yes, I know people laugh at that. Or they're like shocked. But you have to understand. It's easier for me to have him weigh me now because when you're when you're originally 270 and now you're one in the one early 150s, you feel like you feel like you feel like a model. I do. I lie. I feel like a model. I do. And it's easier for me to be more accountable. But he'd never if I gained, he wouldn't care. I mean, he didn't care when I was 270. So and I just was just mortified at that weight. But so yeah, I do. I know it's crazy. But this week's topic du jour is. How to stay on track. And you can print these. I post them if you're a member of my group, Dish With These Waste Watching Warriors. And if you're not, you should be. The link is in the description box. I post them. Um, they put them up on Sunday. And I make a PDF. And I put post it. You can't look up older ones. Because for some reason, it doesn't allow that. So every Sunday, I post it. So you can take a look at it. Get the print out of the weekly. And the recipe, which is chocolate chip meringue cookies three points on all plans and i will post i put them in black and white i'm going to um post these screenshots of these at the end of the video along with my weight because i'm trying to be accountable and you guys help me to do that and i thank you thank you thank you for following my journey for keeping me accountable because without you yeah i'm not sure where i'd be right now just saying all right the weekly topic is how to stay on track Chances are good that your life it looks pretty different now than it did a month ago. Chances are also good that some of your healthy habits you've developed have slipped. All together now, that's okay. We are all human. One of my favorite sayings because we're not perfect and try not to be. We're going through a lot. And when we lose that momentum, we also tend to stop measuring our progress to avoid all the feelings. But studies have shown that monitoring how we're doing by tracking food, activity, and weight, even if we don't like the results, is all important part of getting back or staying on track. Show yourself some kindness and put your health first. It is especially important right now. What to do? Why do these success successes look for you this week? Once you've answered the question, begin to track your progress and getting there using these strategies below. Build time into your schedule for to track your meals either throughout the day or all at once. It makes tracking second nature. If you have a scale at home, weigh yourself on your workshop day at the same time and place each week. I do that. First week, first thing in the morning before breakfast in the nude is best. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not really in the nude. I'm in a nightgown, which pretty much is naked. Keep a healthy habit journal on your nightstand and write down what, what went well or didn't every night. It'll help you pinpoint where you made adjustments to better stay on track. I am not a journaler, but if you are, or even put it on a calendar. You know, on your calendar, we all have calendars in the kitchen. You could put little blurbs at what went well and what made you stay on track that day. If you don't have a scale, estimate your weight and enter it in the WWF weekly. You'll be able to reflect on your week and you'll still earn 50 wellness wins for maintaining that habit. Be sure to share milestones or roadblocks during your virtual workshop or swap stories with other members, coaches, and guides in your studio group on Connect. Definitely. Definitely connect on Connect with somebody on a Zoom if you can. And if not, 
find a group. I always say this. There's many groups. You don't have to be part of mine. I would love to have you, but there are so many that are plan specific for purple, for green, for blue, for your certain age group, for your certain lifestyle. There are groups out there for everything. People who do intermittent fasting, there's a group for that. So find one, connect with it, and connect with other people that are on the same journey as you are. Because you, if you're like me, you're scared to death that you're going to slip. And and all it takes is a slip. But a slip doesn't have to be, become, you know, you can get right up and continue and it's okay. But sometimes you fear once you slip, you're going to continue to slip. You're just going to slide and be so far from where you want to be. And you've worked so hard to get where you're at. So always keep that in mind. Always keep in mind that you worked hard to get there. And don't let what's going on affect that. It's 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 questionable. We don't know what's going on. But you have to, I, I'm trying to say, create a new routine. It's a new way of living. Because it looks like we're going to be living like this for quite a while, unfortunately. I don't see this ending anytime soon. Because the only way to stop a virus is to stay quarantine to stay away from people to stay distancing so it looks like for a while because we don't want to have to go through this again we don't want to have to like and hopefully they'll get some kind of um in a year or so because you're not going to get this a, a shot for this anytime soon they're going to make it i guess have to get the flu shots and stuff i'm sure they'll have one eventually but not anytime soon and do you want it anytime soon with you know you want it done right you know, so it will, and hopefully we'll all probably get one and, you know, but we all want to stay healthy and stay away. And it's, you know, find a community online. Come, I do tea with D every night at 7 p.m. on my channel here. Please come, please connect with us. We're a great group of people. We meet, we talk, we discuss, we share, you know, like nobody understands your journey better than someone else on it. So find one that you connect with. Like I said, I have a Facebook group. I have this group we meet. I highly recommend it. So that's all for me today. I will post these things, my weight and these snapshots of these things. Like I said, I do post them every Sunday when they come out. They come out every Sunday. If you go on the email, you might even get it. Um, but you, it says weekly and then you just, and then I do PDF thing and I share. But yeah, you can't go back to visit old ones. I'm not quite sure why, but so I do post that. So have a great day. I hope, hear how you did on the scale. Remember, it doesn't always have to be a loss. And sometimes a little gain is fine. It is what it is some days at this point. I'm a little bit shocked at myself, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for Dish with Dish. She definitely appreciates it. And remember, you're only one meal away from being back on track. Never, ever forget it.